Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to Friday. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. Um, I wanted to uh, break out some of my, well, all of my 86 pattern Barlows. These are um, my favorite um, GEC knives. And these are basically, I might as well just go ahead and say, these are my favorite knives in my whole entire collection. Not only uh, my GECs, but these are probably my favorite knives of all time. This 86 pattern uh, Barlow. And I've got one of my favorite knives um, of all time in this group right here. Might as well just go ahead and show that one first. Why not? This is a blade forms piece. And this was my grail. It, it is a grail of mine. It still is a grail. And um, it never stopped um, being that knife for me when I... When I found this knife, um, it's got quite the story behind it. Uh, a gentleman, um, I think I told the story before, but a gentleman had this posted and I, he was showing a picture of this knife and I had texted him back and I said, boy, I said, uh, that's a, that's my grail knife. I love that knife. You can see saw cut bone. Everything, just everything about the knife. I just said, um, I can't, I'd love to buy one. I'd love to buy one. Uh, because at the time, there was my grail. And if the money, if it came up for a reasonable price, I'd buy it. And he said, well, I got two of them. He texted me back and he said, well, I got two of them. And I almost felt, literally, I almost fell on the ground. This is 10 o'clock at night. I'm trying to make this deal go through at 10 o'clock at night. I was laying in bed. Never expected this to happen, right? So he proceeds to tell me he's got two of them, brand new in box, never used, so forth and so on. So I wind up getting this. This was the most I ever spent for a knife. This was $450. Um, I think he wanted five for it. Yeah, he wanted 500 for it. And, um, well talking around a little bit and we talked it through and big deal he knocked 50 bones off but still good enough but it was my grail and I knew um I knew I was just good it's an heirloom piece I knew I was going to keep it in my collection forever it wasn't going to go nowhere and um for me to drop the 450 it wasn't even at the time it wasn't even a discussion because these don't come up it's a blade forms piece. I've got one, two, three, four, five, 86 patterns. And this here blade forms piece, I'll go ahead and put this down for a minute and show you uh, the tube real quick. You can see right there, blade forms, and it's called the Spring Street Barlow. That's what the piece is called. This is the Spring Sh Street Barlow. And you can see how cool this, the sign is. It says Spring, Spring Street. And uh, it's really cool. It's just, a, it's just a cool tube in itself. Just in itself. 2021 model pattern. Um, 86 pattern. And uh, limited production run. But, yeah, it was uh, something that I never thought would come up. I don't, You don't see them. I... I mean, money can't, you know how you say money can't even buy them? Well, money can't even buy these because they don't come up. I was looking for it, and I was willing to spend the money, but the, the knife wasn't coming up, and I couldn't get it. Um, until this gentleman, I thought he was joking when he said he had two. When he said he had two, I thought he was joking. He said, well, he says, just this might be your day. He says, I've got an extra one that I want to get rid of. And I said, what? I said, are you kidding me? He said, nope, I'm not kidding you. I, he said, um, I'll sell it to you. I'll sell it to you for five bones. I said, well, I said, how about 450? And he goes, um, yeah, he goes, I guess I'll do 450. Cause that's what he wanted anyway. He got what he wanted. He, he was just pulling my leg, you know? He knew I was gonna ask for some money off. He knew it was going to be somewhere around 50 bucks. So I said, what about 450? And he still got what he wanted. So 
he wasn't fooling me, but 450 it was what it was. Uh, this guy here is a very, very beautiful piece. This is my other uh, 86. They're all the same, all the same, exactly the same pattern. You've got the uh, leaf here, how beautiful it is. With the pine cones on the side, it says GEC written right there. And then you got uh, on the uh, blade practical knives, GEC. And uh, still a very sought after piece. Still a very, very sought after piece. What's this got? This has got the uh, black and uh, brown micarta. I think that's black and brown micarta. But um, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And this is one's in 440C. So where are we moving at here? This is uh, Mr. Patty Potato Peeler's uh, favorite knife. This is the uh, rust orange natural bone. This one here. And it's a gorgeous piece. I mean, it's a it, it's a phenomenal piece. Look at that bone. Look how that bone's sculpted. It's almost like a soup bone. Look at that. Look at look how it's look how it's um just to hold this thing. I mean, in your hand is just it's 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 a wonderful wonderful feeling because you've got all this bone. It's I mean, it's so smooth, and it's just a beautiful piece. Patty's got good uh, taste when it comes to stuff like this because this is one of my favorites as well. They're all my favorites because I have, I, I don't think there's any other 86s out there. I just about collected all the 86s. This one's a two-bladed um, 86. You can see here, Titusville PA. This has got the, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, what's that, um... Sucker rod wood. That's got the sucker rod wood, but she's got two um, blades on her. Just a fantastic piece. What a wonderful piece with the wrench in it. Sucker rod wood. And uh, you can tell with the blade. You can see the blades are exactly the same. Except this one happens to be a two-bladed 86. Absolutely fantastic. Love this piece. And last one I have. is This one was the hardest one to find. It's the green micarta. I can't even get it a good shot of it, right? You darn it. Um, this was one of the most expensive ones in the lineup and it was the hardest one to get. I couldn't find this green micarta one until it finally, finally, again, I got lucky, it came up, but I needed this for the collection. You can see how beautiful that uh, green micarta is. Again, the GEC written on the, um, the uh, bolster there, the egg corns. The egg corn. Um, just gorgeous pieces. The size of these knives are just, that's what gets me. It's the perfect size for my hands. You know what I mean? You could get these GECs all day long. You know, like the 14 pattern. The 14 pattern is like as big. You know what I mean? They're making full knives out of them like that. But they're they're no good to me. They're too they're too small. The, basically, the only thing you're going to do with that is cut a little piece of string. That's all you can do with that. At the least, you want to start out at the 15 pattern. That's that's even a little small, but that's acceptable. That's accept that's an acceptable size. But if you go down to the 14, you won't be happy. You got that. Because you ain't going to cut nothing with that. It's too small. It's too small. But I figured I'd give you guys a look at these 86s. Uh, they're my favorite knives. Um, in the whole entire group. My whole entire room. There's nothing that beats this. And here's my favorite knife of all time. Is this 86. Uh, uh, 86 patterns. Uh, limited edition Spring Street Barlow. 
And there, you're looking at my favorite piece. Look at that um, saw cut bone. Look at that bone in that, man. I mean, that bone is seriously rich. That is some serious rich bone right there. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. So, that's about it. I don't want... Um, I think that's all I could tell you about the 86s. Um, you can track these down if you are interested in some of them. You can find them. They're out there, but you just have to get on the blade forms. That's where you want to go. And you'll see people trading and, and doing that kind of stuff. And they'll come up and you'll see these on there. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys get down the road. Um, shoot me a comment if you can. Let me know what you think about these 86s. Um, and they're my Barlows, man. I Like I said, I think I got, I don't think there's any more out there. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got all of them. So, all right, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. Drop me a comment if you can. Let me know what you think about these 86s. And I'll catch up to you on the next one. Take care, guys.